So we have some files we'd like to open up. In Chapter 4 folder, I would like you to open meetingsend.html and meetingsstart.html. If we look at our end file and actually look at this in the browser, when I click on November 2009, it should take me down to the bottom of the page where I have the information for 2009, and I have some links that will take me back up to the top. December 2009, it'll take me down to that spot. I can go back up again. Our February is only going to go down to that point. So notice that it's far enough up on my page that it's only going to show February 2010. I can see all the rest of my page as well if I need to scroll. Let's close this out and actually make our named anchors. Go ahead and click on meetings underscore start. So in this page, we have our headers. We have our navigation on the side, but you'll notice it just has a little pound sign next to it, so it's not actually going anywhere. The pound sign is strictly so that I could style those links over in my sidebar. So to start with our named anchors, we need to see our insert panel. I'll fold up my CSS styles for the moment and make it so that I can see my insert panel a little bit easier. And it's just in the common category of my insert panel. I'm going to place my cursor right before the M in my March 2010. And I'm going to go ahead and click on my named anchor. A little dialog box pops up that allows me to put my anchor name in here. Now there's a few things that we need to remember in putting an anchor name in. First off, I don't want to use a number to start it off with, and I never want to use a capital. Just all lowercase. Don't feel like you need to put the whole entire line in as well. Whatever is going to be unique on the page. That's all that really matters with your named anchors is that it's a unique name for each one. I don't have any other marches, so I'm just going to choose MAR for March and click OK. So now we'll scroll down to the next bit of text. So February, I will click on named anchor, FEB, click OK. We'll do the same thing for the rest of our text here. January, named anchor. December. And lastly, November. And OK. So now I need to make sure that I have a named anchor at the very top of my page. To do that, it's very easy to do so with my tag selector, because sometimes we have a full page here. It may be hard to select something outside of a container. So I'm going to choose my container tag. Once my container is selected, I can hit my left arrow, and now I will be outside of my container. I clicked on named anchor, and I'm just going to call it top. And now I should see the little invisible symbol at the very top of my page, pushing it down a little bit. And again, it's just an invisible symbol just visually for me inside of Dreamweaver to understand that I have an anchor at the very top of my page. So now we need to actually link our files to our named anchors. And there's two ways to do this. So I'm going to select my November 2009. If I scroll down to where I see my named anchor, my first option is being able just to click inside of my link panel where the pound sign is. I know that I happen to have named that NOV, so I can just type NOV, hit my enter or return key. It will jump back up to that portion of the page, and now I have that actually as a link. We're going to go ahead and do this for the rest of them. So I'll highlight December and 
make sure that I'm looking at the right thing and type in DEC. I'll highlight January and you can either point and shoot to that particular anchor or you can type it in yourself. And for February and for March. Once I have those in, now I can actually put my back to top in. So I'll scroll down to the very bottom of my page and hit a return and type back to top. I'll highlight it and in my link panel I'm going to do a pound sign and TOP because that's what we named our anchor. And now I can copy and paste that after each section. Now you can test your file and it should work exactly like it did in meetings underscore end.